What's going on, SCR Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. What's going on, Mike? How are we doing, buddy? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm good. So today, today we got something that's really had a huge impact on me. Um, and it's something that my mentor taught me. And I didn't really know what he was talking about at the time, but it's made such a huge difference. And it's this philosophy, um, say yes and figure it out. Okay. And so I want to, want to break that down real quick. Cause when he first told me this, he used to drill this into my head over and over and over again. And I didn't know honestly what the hell he was talking about. I felt like it was kind of, I thought it was some type of sales pitch to like go do more events or something. I was like, I don't really know like what he means, but as I've gone further down the path, it makes more sense. So again, we talk a lot on this channel about setting your goals um, and knowing exactly what you want from this business. And so when you know what you actually want and you set a big enough goal, typically you're not going to know how to get there, right? Like if you set a big goal, the point of having a big goal is obviously you want to achieve it, but it's more about the person that you become or the things that you learn along the way in order to achieve the goal, right? So if you set goals that you know how to hit, it's not really a good goal. There's no growth in that, right? So you want to set bigger goals. And when you do, you're not going to know how to hit it. You're just going to know what it is and why you want it. And so opportunities are going to come up along the way when you are clear on what you want and why you want it. And I typically know that it is the right opportunity when one, it is in alignment with what I want. And two, it scares me a bit. Sometimes a little, sometimes I'm like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'm doing this. Right. For one of two reasons, either it's something way outside my comfort zone, like going to speak on a stage or going to talk to some big investor, or, you know, it's a financial investment of something that I've well beyond what I've ever spent before on something, but it's something outside of my comfort zone that is in alignment with what I want. And that's exactly what my mentor was talking about. He's like, when those opportunities come up, you just need to say yes. And then figure out the details on how you're going to pull it off after. So again, if it's a financial investment on a property or a coaching program or whatever it is, and it's a bit of a stretch financially, if it's in alignment with where you want to get to, just say yes. You will, if, if you make the decision that you are going to do this no matter what, you will find a way to come up with the money. Like period, you just will, right? Using an analogy of if your mother or your child desperately needed medicine or they were going to die and it was half a million dollars, you'd find that money somehow period. Like you, you just would, you'd get really resourceful, but most people don't commit to what they actually want. And it's like, Oh, it's kind of more of a nice to have. Well, how do you turn that into a must? Cause if it's a must, then when those opportunities come up, you're just going to say yes. Like, can you come up with the half a million? Yes, I can. How are you going to do it? I have no idea, but I'm going to figure it out. Right? Like that's exactly what he was talking about. And the more that I did that over and over and over and over again, it's just compounded over time. Right. So it went from doing the first deal, this little two bedroom that my wife and I were freaking out to do because we didn't have a lot of money at the time. And we were borrowing from our retirement accounts and all this stuff just to get the deal closed to now, you know, owning a hotel, having a portfolio in four different states, looking at some much larger properties down in Florida right now, like all these different things. Each phase is always a little bit further a little bit bigger, a little more outside my comfort zone, because that's where the growth is. Right. And they're all in alignment with what my goals are. So I'm sure you've got some stories too. And I know when you and I met, when you were uh, looking to get into the mastermind and getting going with real estate, like you were nervous to get in. You hadn't done any real estate deals before. Yeah, for sure. I remember when we had our, I think it was our second call. Um, I told you that my wife and I, we, we have a way to, if there's something that we want, like where something happens, like something bad happens or, you know, whether it's like, you know, a flat tire on the side of the road or, you know, our flight gets canceled somewhere, we're late for something, like we're gonna figure it out. So like we're, we have the mindset of like, all right, we have faith, like faith is the thing, the most important thing. And it's not, yes, we have faith, like religious faith, but faith in ourselves, like confidence, and complete trust that 
whatever happens, like we will get through this scenario. Like we'll get to tomorrow. Like we are one, we're living in the most uh, opportunistic time in the most opportunistic country in the world. Like we were l lucky to be born here. If we look at the rest of the world, everybody wants to live in America and have the opportunities that we have here. Um, so when I, when I see different opportunities that come up, like it's a disservice for me not to take that opportunity and say yes to it and then figure it out from there. Uh, so when we first talked, I had, I think I bought my primary home. I had rented for like five or six years. I brought my, bought my first primary home. And I remember when we bought our primary home, my wife said, let's put an, put an offer on it. And I was like, whoa, like I'm not, I was going out of town. Like she was going out of town. We're both set, like we were going to two different places. And I felt like I had this sick feeling in my stomach. And then because it was an expensive house, it was like a $600,000 house. And this is our first house that we're buying. I was like, this is ridiculous. We're in Nashville, Tennessee. This is so much money. And then I was like, look at the big picture. Like we're gonna, we, we have the money. Like we're gonna figure out the money. We're gonna figure out the loan. We have plenty of money for a down payment, but we're going to figure this out. And then once I realized that, and yes, I, I gave her, I gave her some attitude <laughs> and, and we were, you know, button heads a little bit for like a day. But when I realized that I was like, look, we're going to, we're going to make this work. I don't care what we need to do. We're going to make it work. It's not worth fighting over. Um, so we had the like complete faith and trust in each other that we would figure it out. And then when we talked to buy our first or really to join the mastermind and invest the money to join the mastermind, I had it's this similar feeling. Like I had never really spent money to hire a coach or a mentor or whatever you want to call it. And, um, and when I put that money down, I told my wife like, this is how much, you know, that I paid. And she was like, well, like we're doing it. Like we're all in. And I was like, we are, um, but you know, some people don't, whether it's a, a spouse or a friend, like if you really know what you want. And for us at that time, it was, we wanted a vacation home that could make us $2,000 a month. Like that's what we wanted. And we said yes. And we figured it out, but there were people that were like, what are you doing? Like, well, like my parents they were like, why are you, you're buying a vacation home in, in, Brevard, like what, what's going on? But we knew how to explain it to them. Like, hey, actually, like we're going to turn this into a short-term rental and it's going to pay for itself. And then some. And then it turned into a $4,000 profit a month business that we took the profits to, bought a four unit. We took those profits, bought another vacation home. We took those profits, bought another vacation home, a beach house. And so it just kind of compounds because we we knew what we wanted. We set the goals and we said, all right, we're going to, we're going to figure this out. And if you can figure out what you want and really know it and really have complete faith in it, then you can explain what you're doing to anybody, to any of the naysayers that are like, you know, I can't believe you're doing that. Or are you really sure that you want to do that? Or, you know, what if the market crashes? Like what if the real estate market crashes? What if the cryptocurrency market crashes? Like it doesn't matter. Like we're, we're going to figure it out. Uh, and so if you have that kind of mindset, the money is just, money is just a tool. It's not, it's not something that we're chasing. It's just a tool to live the lifestyle that we want to live. Um, it's not a end goal. It's just kind of the, the, <laughs> what happens when you figure it out? Like when you say yes. So um, I've got, I mean, many more stories where we've done that. We just kind of say yes and figure it out, just like going all the way back to like high school and tennis and stuff. Um, but that's the, the two main things is like, know what you want and have clarity with that. And then say yes and have faith. Like you're going to figure it out. And I think that that second piece there, the first piece is like, know what you want. But the second piece is having faith that gets you past any fear or any naysayers that are out there that are like, you know, doubting you or doubting yourself. So I think having some people in your corner is huge too. Like you just talked about. And initially it's, at least for me, it was difficult with spouses because typically one spouse is more gung ho than the other one. And you don't have the experience yet to be like, we haven't figured this shit out yet. So why would we think we could? Right. So it's like, there's a lot of that going on, but that was the power of mentors, right? It was like, well, I've, 
I'm following what this person's told me to do. And a lot of other people have done it based on what this person told me to do. So we're just going to follow this. Right. And this is going to work. But even now, like we were talking offline about the deal that I'm offering on right now. I was nervous to do that deal because it's financially, it's a stretch. Right. And again, we've been financially comfortable for a while, but this one is going to push us past that comfort zone. And I was the one on the other end of the table. Usually it's my wife that's pumping the brakes. And she looked at me and she goes, look at how far we've come. You really don't think that we can figure this out. Like, this is a great property. Like it's going to be very profitable. Like we should do this deal. And it was pretty cool and eye opening because she was the skeptic on the other side of the table four years ago when we were getting into this. And now she's just as confident, if not more confident now, because we've done it so many times and just seen it over and over again, that she's the one supporting me now. Like, all right, Mike, put your big boy pants back on. We're going to go to the next level again. Right. Where it's like, but having, whether it's a spouse, whether it's an accountability group, whether it's a mastermind, having that support network is huge because if she wasn't giving me that nudge, I probably wouldn't have done it. Honestly, I probably would have been like, eh, I don't know. Let's, let's wait a little bit. Let's build up some more reserves. Like maybe it's not the right time. You know, all those excuses that most people have, but when you have those people in your, in your corner, that are going to support, encourage and challenge you. It makes it a lot easier to say yes and figure it out. Right. So that's why if you've been watching this channel for a while, listen to the podcast, all of these little nuggets that were thrown out there, they're all tools in your tool belt. So the more of them that you have, they compound on each other, right? The accountability groups, knowing your why, saying yes and figuring it out, surrounding yourself with a peer group, like all these different things, like all the mindset Monday stuff that we've gone over. This is why it pays off because you'll know consciously that this is a good deal but your fears will hold you back from saying yes to what you want to do. If you're not training yourself on all these principles and you're not following these steps and you're not building your support network and you're not following mentors and doing all these things, you're going to second guess yourself and you're going to lose on opportunities. Period. I've been doing this a long time and I almost did it to myself again. Right? Like literally, like I almost did it to myself again. Luckily I have that support network. That's like, dude, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Let's do this. Let's roll. Like it's uh, it's your pretty mind, interesting. Your mind comes up with those, those excuses. And I know you say all the time, like there's no good excuses. There's a lot of good excuses, yeah. but none of them are, are worth more than the outcome when you go past those excuses and you actually take action and say, yes, figure it out. Like, one of my friends, he's a very, very, very wealthy guy. And um, somebody that I looked up, look up to quite a bit. He gave me this piece of advice a while ago when um, Kristen was really nervous on the first hotel deal. She was nervous, right? This was a big deal. A lot of money on the line. And um, we were at a barbecue with our friend and um, he goes, if you want to get rich, you got to put your cojones on the table every once in a while, guys. I don't know what to tell you, right? And so... Just hearing that from him, like, yeah, like it's going to be scary sometimes, but you just got to, you just got to persist. You just got to go for it because yeah. like, if we logically think about it, what is worst case scenario, like worst case, right? You lose a property, you got some debt, like you're breathing, like yeah. you're good. Like that's absolute worst case scenario, like worst case Right. That's why, like you were talking earlier about so many people want to move to this country. Anytime I watch movies about, you know, like going back hundreds of years or like medieval times, or, like they could just come and take your shit. And like, it was like tough luck. You know, all it takes here is like some education, some guts, and you're good to go, man. Like mostly guts and then picking up strategies from, from different mentors along the way. So Long story short, start developing that mindset to make real decisions and say yes to what you want and figuring out the details later. If it's in alignment with your goals, especially if it's scary, just say yes and figure it out. And again, I got that from my mentor, Rock Thomas, five years ago. You can check him out. He's got some awesome stuff as well. Um, but by implementing that, that is one of the core principles that has gotten us to the level that we've gotten to and will continue to propel us to the next level 
is because we've built that muscle to just say yes and figure it out. Yeah. Good session. I mean, that's it. I Mindset it. Monday. I love, I love it. Cool. Mindset Monday. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys um, subscribe. We're putting out new content at least twice a week, typically not three times a week, right? Between the podcast, Mindset yep. Monday, Tuesdays with Mike and Mike, three times a week, we got content coming out. Um, we've got the free resources, right? That we just built out. We're still coming up with a name, but I think we're just going to call it STR Secret Starter Pack, which will have like our deal analyzer, the three different models, explaining all these different things, any resources that we talk about on, um, on the content, we'll just upload in there. And it's, it's going to be a free portal for you guys um, to organize all this information in one concise place. And it's totally free. You can just text resources to 978-242-0001. We'll put that link in the, in the notes down below, but it's uh, text resources to 978-242-0001. And we'll hook you up with the STR secret starter pack, our deal analyzer, uh, how to analyze markets, a bunch of free training, the three different business models that you can use to get into this business, whether you want to buy property or whether financially you're tapped out and you don't have any money. We'll teach you how to get started with no money, um, all for free. So you guys can check that out as being a part of STR Nation. So as always, appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.